hi, I'm Lori and I love books. And today I'm going to go over my August TBR and my theme for August is cats. So I have some fun books. Uh, the first one is Mrs. Piggle Wiggle by Betty McDonald. And this is uh, about a person who lives in an upside down house with a kitchen full of freshly baked cookies. Uh, and it is like, uh, I think the first book in a series of books, so I thought I'd give it a try. And it does have a kitty on the cover and then on the back. So I'm not sure how big the kitty plays a part in it, but there's also a puppy. Um, so I thought I'd give it a try and see if there's a lot of kitty in this series. Um, the next book is The Tiger Rising by um, Kate DiCamillo. Um, it doesn't describe this book very well on the back cover. Um, it just has uh, quotes of other people talking about the book. Uh, but it's by the author of Because of Wooden Dixie, which I did read. So I thought I'd give the author another try. And um, so I'm hoping I'll enjoy this. And the next one is uh, It's Like This Cat by Emily Neville. Um, and um, I have read uh, One-Eyed Cat, but I don't think I ever read this one when I was younger. So I'm going to give it a try. It's about a boy named Dave who has issues with his dad. And then um, uh, Dave meets another boy named Tom. They help rescue a cat, and then he meets a girl named Mary, and so it sounds like the cat is helping Dave become more social. So um, I'm going to give that a try. Hopefully I'll like it. The next one um, I found at a used bookstore, so I don't really know much about it, but it's called Aru Shah and the End of Time by Roshani Chakshi. Um, and it says it's a Pandeva novel. And basically, um, Arif Shah is a girl who is in middle school, and she tends to stretch the truth. The other children at the school want to catch her in a lie, so she rubs a magic lamp, and um, uh, it has dire consequences. So it sounds like it should be a really good adventure book, and then it looks like there's a tiger on the cover, so... Again, another book I hope has some magical uh, kitty antics in it. And then this one definitely has kitties in it because it's called Bad Kitty Kitten Trouble by Nick Burrell. And uh, basically the cat shelter has been destroyed and so a lot of kittens are displaced and so they bring the kittens into their home and it causes a lot of... Uh, conflicts and hopefully resolution, so... It should be fun. It looks like it's very humorous, and I, I could use a very funny book right now. The next book um, is a spiritual book, and it's called Palmist Tree by Megan Lynn Cott, um, Unlocking the Secrets of the Universe with Cats. And this, again, looks very humorous. Um, uh, so it talks about, like, the different types of toe beans, all black toe beans, freckled toe beans, um, and so it should be good. Um, so, um, it, like, basically you're reading the paw of your cat like a palm reader. So it should be a very interesting book, a very different kind of spiritual book. The next book is The Seven Wonderful Cats by Rand McNally Giant Book, and it just had all these colorful uh, happy-faced kittens on the cover, so I couldn't resist. Um, so I definitely think I will enjoy that. The next book is uh, the last book, and it's the uh, book I have selected for the Children's Classics Club that I read over on Goodreads. Everybody is welcome to join, and it's called Million of Cat Millions of Cats by Wanda Gag. I haven't ordered, I haven't received it yet, um, but it's a little... Um, uh, picture book. Uh, this year we're going on lots of adventures to magical lands and it just seemed like it would be an adventure of trying to find a cat. And it looks like you found a cat and a lot more than just one. So I'm looking forward to reading that. Um, are you looking forward to reading any books in August? Let me know in the comments below. 
Um, if you liked, subscribed, or made a comment, thank you very much. It's very appreciated. And until next time, have a lovely time reading. Bye!